Hey, thanks for coming over. This is Amadeus, and today's Dungeon Hunter Champion video is all about Vimmel, the Fire Timekeeper. Now, to be fair, Vimmel, the Fire Timekeeper, is a late game champion. I personally don't think his role on your roster starts until you're building stable ascended raid teams. So if that's not where you're at in the progression of the team, this video probably isn't for you. Because ultimately he is amazing in Steel Widow, but in order to understand that we have to break him down. Okay. So first, his basic attack shared by all the timekeepers is called Temporal Flux. It lowers cooldown times by one second when it becomes empowered. Now until we have champions that empower other champions, this means he will lower his skill cooldown timer for one second for everyone every six seconds. If you're not familiar with the timekeepers, it's a little complicated, but it is an awesome skill, trust me. Now his first activated skill is called Calls Reverse. Now this is the only reason Bimmel has value, and the skill is that good. I cannot overstate how valuable skills like this are in Ascended content, but basically Bimmel's Causal Reverse strips two enemy buffs, heals based on attack, and cleanses two debuffs from each ally. This skill is good because it reduces the number of other champions you need on the team to do the role of stripper, cleanse, and cooldown reduction. So think about that, you get all of those and you even get a little bit of a heal because this heal is based on attack and my personal build has attack on him, but you get a little bit of a heal on that as well. And that in any heal in Ascended is good, right? So this isn't, um, this isn't really as big a deal though in the pre-Ascended raids though. So unfortunately, when you start to look at the rest of his skill sets, for instance, if we look at his, um, his uh, second activated skill, um, called Kismet Blade, you know, what you're going to find is, is that um, it doesn't do anything besides damage. Um, now, I built Vimmel uh, on straight 3,000 plus attack, 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 uh, with all attack subs, and I built him with attack crit damage attack, and in both cases, he was very underwhelming for damage, so this is just a substandard skill right now. And his ultimate skill is called Temporal Void. Now, Temporal Void does potentially stun enemies on impact, but that's it. Again, this alone would make him inferior to Manus or Sharma. Um, but when you combine this with Kismet Blade's ineffectiveness, you probably wonder if he has any other redeeming qualities besides Calls Reverse. Well, Vimmel does have a Synergy Trait Leader skill that will lower skill cooldown times, so he has that going for him, right? Now, let's be honest. Like, this is why I'm saying he is a late game champion. Because in addition, he ascends into a 15% increase in attack speed, which is what all the timekeepers ascend into. But be honest with yourself for a second. Attack speed boosts on timekeepers are pointless. Their skill cooldown reduction isn't based on the number of attacks, so it doesn't help that. Their damage isn't based on attack speed, so it doesn't help that. And frankly, they just are not damage dealers in ascended raids don't deal damage because if you look at mine right now you'll see that I've invested a lot in attack because they do some damage but they are just not gonna drop the 600 700 thousand damage that you need in the ascended raids from your damage dealers so let's sum this all together based on the relative uselessness of his uh, second activation skill and his third activation skill for anything other than sheer attack based damage uh, the only set that makes any sense to me is Adept because you need Causal Reverse up as much as possible because that's your cleanse and your strip, right? So making the skill important means you also have to make accuracy important. So I recommend going precise. I am actually working towards 100% accuracy build to make my runs even more consistent than they are now when it comes to stripping because right now I have Hoshi on my team to also help with strips. And I'd love to take her off and put another damage dealer in. And I'll actually show you that team right now. So as you can see, Vimmel has the leader synergy trait, which gives the cooldown. And then I have Hoshi. She's there to support with an attack buff, a defense break, and um, a, a strip as well as to help with school kill down, or <laughs> skill cooldown. Magic Girl's wish and defense buff is critical. And then a lot of people want to use Monument um, for a lot of the Ascended Raids. And I love Monument. Monument's a top tier uh, champion for me. But Obelisk brings a little bit more to the table because Obelisk also has a defense or has a um, 
attack speed down and an attack power down. And since Magic Girl gives me the defense buff, I really don't need it. Okay, so let's let's actually see them in action right here. So you could always replace Aaliyah with uh, a really good Rota or a really good uh, Nature Sprite. So what you're gonna see is like the the shields, uh, not a problem. Defense uh, or rather uh, buff block being up from Hoshi is great because that will help limit the number of times we're going to have to deal with invulnerability. <clears throat> but as you can see, uh, Vimmel is absolutely stripping off all of these debuffs. Now, if I could get Vimmel at a higher resistance rate, and that might be something to look at at laundry day because sometimes he does get locked down. A minute 30 for Steel Widow um, Ascended. Not bad, pretty consistent too, to be honest with you. But if you look at the damage, even with all that investment into Vimmel for attack power, he really just doesn't do that much in all honesty. So almost everything's gonna end up coming from Aaliyah, which is why I wanna kind of move on to getting Hoshi out of there and replacing another damage dealer in there. But I'm really interested to see what people are building for their Vimmels, or if they have other suggestions for the Steel Widow consistent teams but thanks for stopping by have a great day bye